Protector. It was South Australia's colonial warship. Protector is now wrecked as a breakwater on Heron Island in Queensland. It's such an important vessel for South Australia. There are a lot of people still who have family members who served on it. We're interested in Her Majesty's colonial ship protector because it enables us to tell a story of World War I that shows a South Australian perspective. Her Majesty's colonial ship, or HMCS Protector, was a warship that was purchased by the South Australian colonial government. The vessel was built between 1882 and 1884 in Newcastle on Tyne, England. It had tremendous symbolic value. It was an important statement of civic pride, as well as something that would provide them with security. After arriving in Port Adelaide, it spent most of its time on station in uh, both the Spencer Gulf and the Gulf St. Vincent, largely uneventful, patrolling the coastal waters of South Australia. For a time, the commander of Protector was William Creswell. He was a very, very good advocate for the Navy. After Federation, he assembled a fleet of ships that became the Royal Australian Navy. That proved to be a, a big achievement because people didn't really expect there to be a world war but the Royal Australian Navy was actually surprisingly ready, surprisingly capable, and that was something that British officers said of the Navy. And Protector went on to serve through World War I. So at the outbreak of war, the Navy was to go up to German colonies, and the closest one being Papua New Guinea. Protector served as a port guard vessel up at Rabaul. The Navy raided a, uh, a telegraph station, a wireless station. Okay. Australia suffered its first casualties. And so that's a kind of important symbolic moment for the country. While there, Protector was also the tender for the Australian submarines AE-1 and AE-2. AE-1 was sunk a few days after the raid on Rabaul. AE-2 famously penetrated a stretch of water off uh, Gallipoli. Protector also went out to the Cocos Keeling Islands. It reported on the wreck of the German cruiser Emden, which had been uh, badly damaged and run ashore by uh, the HMAS Sydney. After serving in Rabaul, Protector came back to Australia and it spent the remainder of the war largely patrolling Australian coastal waters. Protector was never the hero. Nobody invaded South Australia, so Protector was never tested in that way, but it has connections to those ships, so it enables us to tell that story. So this is since 2012, this piece of hull plating has fallen off. The problem with Protector now is that it is starting to deteriorate. It is starting to fall apart. We've partnered with a number of different organizations to do a major project, laser scanning of the vessel, and use this to make models bringing Protector back to South Australia, virtually, from where it is now. So if it does fall apart, it'll still be there.